Joanna Southcott by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. Joanna Southcott, 1750 to 1814, was a prophetess and religious figure who gained a significant following in Britain during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Southcott was born in Devon, England, and worked as a domestic servant and dressmaker before she began to claim she was receiving divine messages from God. Southcott's religious beliefs and prophecies were based on a belief in the imminent second coming of Christ and the establishment of a new Jerusalem on earth. She predicted that she would give birth to the new Messiah, a belief that was central to her theology and that gained her a large and devoted following. Southcott's message appealed to many people who were disillusioned with the established Church of England and sought a more direct and personal connection with God. Her followers came from a range of social backgrounds, including many industrial and rural working class people who found comfort and hope in her teachings. Despite her popularity and influence, Southcott's prophecies were often controversial and she faced opposition from both the Church of England and secular authorities. In 1801, she published The Strange Effects of Faith, in which she claimed she was pregnant with the new Messiah. When the child was not born, Southcott's credibility was severely damaged, and many of her followers lost faith in her teachings. Despite this setback, Southcott remained influential until her death in 1814. Her teachings and prophecies had a lasting impact on British religious life and continued to attract interest from scholars and religious historians. An organisation, the Panacea Society, which follows the teachings of Joanna Southcott, was founded in 1919, but has no direct link with her. The Joanna Southcott Box is a unique artefact that has intrigued people since her time. This wooden box was reportedly created by Joanna Southcott and it is said to contain a series of prophecies that will be fulfilled in the future. Joanna stipulated the box could only be opened by 24 bishops who had to study its contents for seven days and nights. A box was opened in 1927 under the supervision of psychic researcher Harry Price 1881-1948 but was found to contain rubbish. This has been regarded as a publicity stunt to promote Harry Price's psychic work and the box said to be a fake. No Anglican bishops were present for the opening. The Panacea Society, founded in 1919 in Bedford, England, is inspired by and follows the teachings of Joanna Southcott. The founder, Mabel Baltrop, 1866-1934, claimed to be God the Daughter, a person mentioned in Southcott's prophecies. The society still exists today and keeps a house in Bedford ready for the return of Joanna Southcott. A central purpose of the society at the outset was to persuade 24 Anglican bishops to open Southcott's sealed box of prophecies and to this end adverts were placed in newspapers both national and local. Adverts even appeared on the sides of buses. In the late 1920s and early 1930s the Society generated over a 100,000 signatures for the box to be opened. The Society claimed to be in possession of the original box and that the one that was opened in 1927 was not the genuine box. The Joanna Southcott box has been a subject of much debate among scholars and believers alike. Many believe that the prophecies contained within the box hold the key to unravelling some of the mysteries of our time, while others dismiss it as nothing more than a myth or a curiosity. Despite the controversy surrounding the box, there is no denying that it has captured the imagination of many people over the years. Some have even gone as so far as to make the journey to Bedford, where the box is said to be kept, in order to study it first hand. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Joanna Southcott box is its purported connection to the British royal family. It is said that the box was given to King George III, who stored it in the royal archives. Since then, it has been passed down through the generations of the royal family, with each monarch adding their own prophecies to the box. There is absolutely no evidence to support this claim. Despite extensive research and investigation, 
no one has been able to verify the existence of the real Joanna Southcott box or the accuracy of the prophecies it allegedly contains. In conclusion, Joanna Southcott was a significant religious figure of the late 18th and early 19th centuries whose teachings and prophecies attracted a large and devoted following. While her beliefs were controversial and often viewed with suspicion by mainstream authorities, Southcott's message of hope and personal connection with God resonated with many of her followers. Her legacy continues to be studied and debated by scholars and religious historians today.